Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. Does pipe size affect water pressure? If you've ever wondered why the water pressure in your home seems to vary, you might be thinking about the pipes. So does the size of the pipes really affect the water pressure? Let's find out. When it comes to water flowing through pipes, the size of the pipe plays a significant role. Here's how it works. If you have a smaller pipe, the water has to flow faster to get through it. According to Bernoulli's principle, as the speed of the water increases, the pressure actually decreases. This means that using a smaller pipe would not increase the pressure, it would actually decrease it. On the other hand, larger pipes allow water to flow more slowly, which can lead to higher water pressure. This is because more water can be carried at a lower velocity, resulting in less loss of pressure due to friction. So if you want better water pressure, using larger, smoother pipes is generally the way to go. Another important factor is the material of the pipe. Corrosion-resistant materials like PVC and PPRC pipes maintain a constant flow rate and reduce the risk of pressure drops. These materials are smooth and resistant to scaling or corrosion, which helps in keeping the water flow efficient. The length of the pipe also matters. As the pipe length increases, the possibility of pressure loss due to friction rises. Even small improvements in pipe diameter can significantly reduce pressure loss over long distances. Additionally, factors like elevation, the condition of your service lines, and the demand for water in your area can also affect water pressure. For instance, homes on hills or higher floors of buildings often experience lower water pressure because water has to work against gravity to reach these points. So to answer your question, yes, the size of the pipe does affect water pressure. Larger pipes generally lead to higher water pressure due to lower friction and velocity, while smaller pipes can result in lower pressure due to increased velocity and friction.